What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Bow Disciples video. If you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. We're always cranking out good archery and hunting content and today's video is no different. I'm gonna be filming a full day of eating around what I eat as a hunter and go do some shooting and other things mixed in. First things first, we're gonna show you how to make a great breakfast scramble utilizing ground elk meat. Then we're gonna have a light lunch that's super healthy utilizing venison steak steaks. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to make one of my all-time favorite meals, a date-worthy pasta that will impress any crowd you bring to have some. Let's get into meal one, which is a great breakfast to get us ready for the gym. Once this is pretty like well cooked, about three quarters of the way, we will then throw in my two eggs and scramble it all together. Oh yeah, she's piping hot. Kind of break up the pieces. Beat it up, beat that thing, beat that thing. About game recipes, I feel like a lot of people get the meat. Maybe they get their first deer ever and they don't know what to do with it. They're like, oh, I don't know how to make it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so see right here, you can tell it's getting close, but still red on the inside. Right here is where we're gonna, we're gonna crack a couple of eggs. You can't do that one-handed? One-handed? I'll give it a try. I think I can. Nope. It wasn't the smoothest, but there's some shell in there. But we're gonna just do two eggs. Sometimes I'll do more, but uh, it's cutting season, baby. Right here. Here's all you gotta do. It's so easy. I see people literally. I'll see people take their eggs, put them in a thing, beat them. Like they do so many extra steps. All you gotta do is put them in here, and then just start to. Start to beat that thing up like this. Pull it up. And then we're gonna scoop her, kind of mix it over. And then look at, we're already starting to get that good blend. Look at that, we're getting pretty close to home, baby. Oh yes, we're getting to where we need to be right here. Oh yes, baby. Here's basically what it's gonna look like. This is the simplest version right here. You can bang this out in like two minutes. A lot of good protein. It's a very, very healthy meal. You don't have to do the garlic salt, but to me, this is the goat of seasonings. This and Montreal steak seasoning. Nice little sprinkle. And then here's the biggest key. Oh, yes. Oh. Just like that. A good douse. And then you're ready to chow. So we're going to grab some cutlery. It's one of my least favorite forks. And kind of mix her up. And even though I'm Caucasian, Tell you what, boy, I do not skimp on that hot sauce. And later, when you see this date-worthy dinner I'm gonna be making later, you're gonna see that thing has some heat to it. This is fire. It really is so good. And so easy to make. Very good. We're feeling really good after meal number one. Time to get in the gym and hit a workout. Let's get to it. Workout number two is going to be an isolated shoulder press on this hammer strength. One of my favorite shoulder movements. That's gonna wrap it up for the workout today. Now we're gonna head home, make a great lunch with some venison steaks. Gonna be super healthy and a good lunch to get us going into the next phase of the day. But every day aside from lifting weights, I also mix in about four miles of walking, two miles to the gym, two miles back every single day as well. Capped off by a run in the afternoon just to keep the blood flowing, make sure I'm ready for those hikes for hunting and we're good to go. So let's go eat some lunch and head to the archery range. All right guys, so we just wrapped up a really good gym session. Felt great running off that breakfast with the ground elk. Now it's time for some lunch. So we got four small deer steaks and I'm super excited. So all we're gonna do, as you'll notice, there's a little bit of this white trim on here. Some people get way too crazy and spend like 15 hours cutting every little bit of that off. I think it's a waste of time. You can just do that while you're eating it. So this is actually a local deer, so it's relatively small. We're just gonna do a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Let's get it in the pan. That's the sound you want right there, baby. If you ain't hearing that sizzle, that means your pan or your grill is not hot enough. 
Now we're gonna let that chill. And we wanna cook this hot. So that's what we're doing. This right here, meal number two, super simple. Got ourselves some white rice that we made in the rice cooker. Some frozen vegetables, pop them in the microwave, you're good to go. And some good old venison deer steaks. Can't beat it. So we just finished up lunch. We are gonna head to the range now. I need to take my lens off and sight in my bow again. And then when we get back, we're going to go for a little run. And then we are making a bomb dinner and we can't wait to show it to you guys. I just took my lens off. I've been shooting it for quite a few months now. It gets dirty, it fogs up with more hunts. You know, it's a better idea to not go with a lens and my eyesight, surprisingly, the doctors said are getting better. Took the lens off, shot at 30. Haven't had a group that small in ages. I feel like your confidence just comes back when you can't see that wobble through the lens anymore. So had a great group just now, tiny pie plate at 40. So we're gonna just move the, the pin up a little bit and recite the bow in and then we should be good to go. So fun little day at the range. happy with that. Get this wobble when you put on a lens because you're so zoomed in that it really makes you learn to stabilize your hands when you're holding that bow. So you take the lens back off and it just feels phenomenal in thickness. What do you think? I, I'm happy with it. You know, this is, this is with me feeling a little sore over four days back at the gym after an underway. So I'm very happy with it. I haven't been that happy in a long time with my shooting. So, uh, just gonna keep it up. A little high step, all three? Yeah, same spot. All right. I am unbelievably proud of this group right here. So still a touch high, about four inches. I'm gonna move the pin up just a little bit more, try her one more time, and then we will be done. Okay, we moved her up just a touch more, so we're gonna shoot three more, another group, and then hopefully we're done. Ooh, that was in the pump station too, right there, baby. Our 50 is ready. She's ready, Freddy. Ready for a mule deer, if I can stop one. All right, guys, we are back from shooting, so we are gonna stick to the routine, go for our little run, and then we'll be back to make a bomb dinner. I like this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That dinner, baby. We have reached the grand finale of the meals today. This is my brother's signature pesto pasta. So shout out to Paul for helping me with this recipe. We've developed it together and right now it's at its peak point. So definitely give this a try. Protein is going to be blacktail deer, jalapeno, ground cheddar, sweet Italian elk, a green bell pepper, orange bell pepper. We have an onion, which is one of my favorite staples for really any meal, banana peppers, three habaneros and a jalapeno. Parmesan cheese is gonna kind of be our garnish to go on top, make it look all zesty. Tricolor ratoni, ratini. <laughs> oh, oh it's, uh, smoke me in the comments on that. Pesto sauce from Classico. And then bam, 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 just hammer it. And that's, that's what you want. You don't want tiny little pieces. You want like pretty good sized pieces. Oh, ho, 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 yes! Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this meat, take it out, put it in some sort of container, pop it in the microwave to keep warm, and then we're gonna throw the vegetables in, cook those. Meanwhile, the pasta will get started right around when the vegetables go in, and that way at the end it all comes together in this big melting pot of just love and joy. This is the part where the magic happens right here, and I am excited. And I know Brianna is, because she's been on the verge of being hangry for a long time now. And anyone who knows women knows that's a big deal. There's the meat, and the peppers, the peppers, the whole, the whole tin. My favorite part. You just mix away. Mix away, nice deep mixes. 
finished product looks spectacular. Look at this thing, got all sorts of color in there. Super, super tasty, a lot of protein, some good vegetables, great meal. If you gotta impress somebody and need a good wild game recipe, then you just go ahead, garnish it with some Parmesan cheese, Parmesan, a little bit more just for good measure. And that, my friends, is it. Fire or trash? Leave an emoji under this video and let me know if this meal looks fire or trash. Cheers. It's amazing. It's always one of my favorite meals. Just keeps getting better. Can't recommend it more. All these meals, but especially this one. Give them a try. If you guys want to watch more videos with recipes, we haven't done many, we've only done a couple, but if you want to check one out, click this video right here for another one that we've done in the past. And if you would like to see more, let us know. We can do it in the future. Thanks for watching.